boom, 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 drop. Today, Mercedes Sprinter EGR, well, removal. I've got a dying nose. So, what you need to do is, you have this air intake that fits down there. Take that off, you've just got some 10 mils there, a 10 mil there, there and there. You just take that off, bring it out, dump that to the side. Take the air box out, which is quite simple. You unclip on one side, you've got the oil filler. You unclip under there, little clip under. The exact same for the power jump start. Take off the mass airflow sensor and the, oh, I think it's air temperature, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. Undo this pipe here, plug them off over there. Take the engine cover off, which will expose all this. But the first thing you want to take off, I'll just get this flopper out of the way. Boop. You have this transfer pipe, which sits in there like so. So you'll have a torx bit there, a torx bit there, a torx bit there, and a torx bit there. Off. That's out the way. And the torx bit size for using that is, so I want to see. It is E10. Focus, E10. So they're off, and then you'll have well, oh, you have this as well. This bad boy which sits there. That is the vacuum reservoir, the vacuum pressure. Which take this pipe here off there, which just flops over there. Focus. Bolt there. Two bolts there. E10 again. I'll take these three off here, which I'm going to do shortly. And then you have a bolt there which I've taken off and a bolt under there all Torx all E10 which I'm going to take off then over here I've taken this out of the way just because that's what I do you can leave it on I'll just take it out of the way you can see that bracket you got there you've got to take that bracket off take it off both sides to make it easier so you've got an E10 there and an E10 this side here and then down oh, my torch is running out and then down the bottom down there you have another two E10s which you're going to need some extensions for or if you want a ramp, you can do it from underneath. We'll get out of that and come back to you. <coughs> oh, pardon me. So, after you've got them back bolts out, you've taken this plug here off. Take that off. You don't want to leave that on and rip that out. You want to move the filler neck out of the way, and then you can just lift this up. If you look at it, it's all free now. It's all free. It's just a bit of a fiddle to get out. And if you look down there, Zoom. There's a plug. Oh. It's not zooming. Look there. Covered in oil. I know. With this plug here. You take that off and then wiggle the way out. If you notice that your jar's a lot cleaner than the rest of it because it has been changed about a year ago. So, hence why I'm doing diagnostic work, because I'm not just going to quickly swap it again. So, I'll get on with that, get it out, and I'll show you what part does what. Here, we have the EGR assembly, Mercedes Sprinter. Mercedes. So, here you have the actual EGR itself. That is controlled by a vacuum-operated diaphragm. Here have the EGR motor, which does the main operating. So this bolts on to this. And for some reason, that isn't working properly. This is the cooler, by the way. So it cools the exhaust gases. That's what that is. And that's where it goes in. And blah, blah, blah. So, uh, so this is the inlet manifold. Down there, you can just see, just see, down here is where it gets the exhaust gases from the exhaust manifold. Comes around the back there, look. Little pipe that goes around the back after the end. It goes round, round the back. 
and into here and with being a Mercedes everything's all freaking vacuum like here's the diaphragm that operates it air goes in pushes it out comes out obviously sucks it back in that's what you're left with so now I've got to work out why it's not working so the code I'm getting on the dash itself is um, EGR flow too high is that exhaust gas flow is that coolant flow I don't know and it's given me a limp mode not can't rev over two and a half thousand rpm and it's blocking my DPF which obviously if the exhaust gas that if the circulation valve is not working then the EGR, uh, DPS not going to be able to do its job so that's the fuel filter by the way if you wonder why it's got a plug on because it's got a little heating elements inside them to heat the fuel in cold weather. Hi fan. I actually have a fan. These sprinters though, I love them. I love them. So you've got a main ECU there, um, ABS pump, brake servo, warp motor, turb ski. Hey, they're good engines, very good engines. This one gets hammered, well all our sprinters do. There's all the injectors with the codes right on top. 2.14 cylinder. You can get them, I think it's a 3 litre V6 diesel. No point, this thing pulls like hell. Good vans, very good van. So just another quick video, I'll leave it there. Hopefully you can watch this and it'll help you if you ever try and work out how to get an EGR off one of these. It's not, it's not that hard. What I've done, to get them back things on, got in three eighths with an extension, with an angle bar, with another extension with your torque bit on to get around the side. It just makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier. Um, other than that, have a good day, Sarah.